This 22-year-old woman recently graduated from college and has since begun nannying for her 32-year-old sister and her 35-year-old brother-in-law. Together, they have two kids who are four years old, but she also has a brother who is 29 and recently had a baby with his wife about three months ago. So. The couple is also now looking for childcare to be prepared when her sister-in-law heads back to work. While her brother and sister-in-law found a daycare they were satisfied with, though the daycare was pretty expensive and located a decent drive away, that s why they wound up asking her if she would also be able to nanny their daughter in addition to nannying for her sister s to kids. However. She honestly told her brother that she wasn't sure if she could handle it all after all. His baby is just a few months old right now. It just seemed like too much. Plus, the summer is coming up, and I had a lot of things planned to do with the twins that would be made harder with the baby needing to nap, eat, and requiring constant supervision. She explained still. It was obvious that her brother really wanted to make some arrangement work since, apparently, his wife was having a lot of anxiety about leaving their newborn with a stranger. Nonetheless, she was forced to tell her brother that it just was not possible for her to nanny for them. And thankfully, her brother and sister-in-law took the news well and dropped the topic after that this past Friday. However. Her family got together for a barbecue at her sister S house. Then, the following day, her brother showed up at her apartment and claimed he needed to talk to her. During their conversation, her brother detailed how he had been outside talking with her sister S husband C, her brother-in-law C, at one point during the barbecue. By that time, her brother admitted that they were both drunk. But claimed her brother-in-law was way more intoxicated than him, and my brother said that my sister S husband said things about me. She revealed he didn't say exactly what because he said it was vulgar, but he basically said that my brother-in-law is attracted to me, and my brother really kept pushing that he didn't think I should be left alone with my brother-in-law. But honestly. She is having a hard time coming to terms with that since her brother-in-law has always been extremely sweet and respectful of her. Plus, she has known him for so long that by this point, she views him as her actual brother. Her brother-in-law is also a wonderful dad and treats her sister great too. So. They have never had any creepy situations that lined up with her brother S claims that S why she decided to confide in her best friend about the situation C because understandably she was pretty alarmed by what her brother said and afterward her best friend brought up an interesting point her brother knows that every morning she is alone with her brother in law to watch her sister S twins additionally If what her brother claimed was true, then he knows she would have to quit nannying her sister S kids. So, her friend essentially believes that her brother might just be lying about her brother-in-law saying creepy things about her in order to get her to quit and nanny for her brother S child instead. Apparently, this is somewhat believable to her. To my brother I S N T a bad person. But he definitely has done questionable things and then justified them in his own head in the past, she said. Anyway, she wound up asking her brother if he was going to talk to their sister about the situation, but he said he would have that conversation at the right time, which also seemed a bit fishy to her. Still, she has no idea what to think, and ever since. She has been left wondering whether she should ignore her brother's claims or take his word and quit nannying for her sister.